Today, buildings consume approximately 40% of the world's generated energy. With an increasing demand for renewable energy and a greater need for grid stability comes the need for smart building. Recently, Plan Group successfully designed and integrated the building, business, and clinical systems of Humber River Hospital, North America's first fully digital hospital. Plan Group were one of the partners on our design and development team, and we have worked with them really since 2010. When we wrote our specifications, we come to the table with these brilliant ideas and all these thoughts about what we think a perfect digital world would look like for us. And Plan really accepted that challenge, worked very diligently with us on creating workflows, understanding our lean process, the empowerment of patients, all of the things that were important for us, and gave us really good guidance and ideas on how those things would work. So we did that with technology, with our automated guided vehicles that had never been used in Canada before, our pneumatic laundry linen chutes that had never been used in Canada before. Our physicians get information sent to their specially designed handheld device, our integrated bedside terminal that we created with them, room sign monitors, and they really worked with us to understand that if that data was in the chart or that order was once made, we didn't want to have to rewrite it. We needed to develop work streams, we needed to respect lean processes and work with them to have them develop those items for us. It's about interoperability and they worked very hard on it and they continue to do so. Working as an integrated team with Humber River Hospital, Plan Group led the ICAT scope to enable integration and interoperability. ICAT can be defined as information, communication, and automation technologies, but in its simplest term, it's the people, the process, and the technology that make a building smart. Well, there are so many things I can talk about that make Humber River Hospital a smart building, but I'll just highlight three. So the first one is the integrated bedside terminal, where the patient has the ability to control the environment around them. They can control the lights, the heating, and the cooling for a customized experience. They also have the ability to communicate directly in real time with their clinicians in the hospital and their loved ones at home through a video call. Another example that I'll give you is the automated guided vehicles. These are robots that are streamlining the process for delivering services within the facility. They focus on pharmacy, food services, and house cleaning. The cool thing about these robots is that they're actually able to communicate with the scheduling environment within the hospital. They communicate with the elevator and other building systems to move around the facility wirelessly. And they also communicate with clinical staff to let them know that services have been delivered on time. And the third example I'll give you is the real-time locating service. This is an incredible product that actually involves the safety and well-being of the staff and patients within the facility. And it focuses on patient wandering, infant abduction, asset tracking, and staff duress. Well, the hospital really focused on how to use technology to improve the patient and family experience and to make healthcare safer and better for our patients. For more information, visit www.plan-group.com.